What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are watching Stranger Things Season 4, Episode 2. We are watching these back to back, so <laughs> we will try to do a short intro recap Recap to this. Um, we obviously came back into the season, the kids are grown now, and are in high school. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing and in different... Mental states. Mental states, I guess. Uh, Will and Eleven are in California with Joyce and... What's Will's brother's name? Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't come to me. The rest of the kids are still where they were before. Hawkins. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> still where they were before. Anyways. Um... But it is going to be spring break, so they're actually going to, or Mike is actually going to see Will in 11. Um, it was definitely a different feel coming back into the season. Which we kind of expected, which, knowing that they moved away from Hawkins, that it was going to be different. True, but I don't even feel like that's the different feel. I feel like they're just going through a lot, and then I feel like it's like a scarier versus creepy vibe with that flashback in the beginning and then that whole bathroom scene and then that ending yes yes like it's definitely like horror here, movie vibe. here's scary here's creepy and this is like where it used to be and now it's like all the way over here yeah like that was freddy krueger that was like a bigger it was more it was, powerful freddy krueger yeah it was scary and I obviously the season just started so we don't know why things are happening but my like biggest question right now is why did they show us that flashback of Eleven killing all of them and that happening like why do we need to know that what was the purpose yeah what was the purpose um and what the hell is this thing that is obviously <laughs> Possessed Chrissy and fucking killed her. It said it wa it's time for her suffering to end. So I'm curious as if this thing is thinking that it's helping, which is really weird because he was talking to her like it's time for your I suffering. Have, I have to no end. idea. And literally, like, I mean, that was a hell of a way to go. I don't know if in his mind, like, that was like a good way to go. I, I don't know. But, it but wasn't. I like um so I like Eddie. He's, He's hilarious. The new character. And crazy. I thought him and Chrissy were gonna, you know, be main characters with the rest of them, but Chrissy died. Um yeah, unless we see like alternate her somehow. Nah, I don't know. She's gone. Um But Eddie happens to live across, across from, Max. from Max because her and her mom moved and Max saw Chrissy go into his house with him. And obviously, she's fucking dead now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen there. But, yeah, I'm ready to watch I'm ready more. to watch this too. I think that we'll probably get some conflict with Lucas being mad at everyone for missing his game. and Because he actually got to play. I and think that, the game yeah, Joyce is going to try to look into this whole message in the Russian doll that Hopper... It's alive. still alive. But like Marcus said I don't at know the how. discussion at the end last episode, like how, who would have sent that to her? Because it has to be someone that knows where they live now. And obviously someone in Russia who knows Hopper and knows, knows that Hopper, Hopper knows, knows Joyce. Her and yeah. speaks English and sent her this message. Maybe it was Hopper and he sent it to the old address and it got forwarded. I don't know. But we'll I don't see. know why he wouldn't have said... It's Hopper, I'm alive. Maybe they were magazine cut out so he didn't have enough letters to say that it was him. I so he said, know. Hop is alive. I have no idea. Because they had more to the message that we didn't, no, we didn't get, get to, to read. See. Maybe we'll get to see this episode. I don't know. I'm ready. And these kids better stop bullying Elle. Oh, yeah. I need her to get her powers back and. Because she would have messed, messed that, that girl up. She called her name. I don't even remember her name. She's just a bitch. But April? 
I don't know. But she shattered it, and she was just like, ah! <laughs> and nothing happened. <laughs> she looked crazy as hell for the whole school. But I am ready to hop into this second episode. Me too. All right. Let's start it. Yes. Show us. You just said you wanted it to start. I don't give a fuck body. anymore. It's Hopper. Show us what happened the moment he disappeared. The moment she twisted it. The moment that broke my heart. Twice. What happened to him? He jumped into it to survive? Or did he just land on the ground down there? And they thought he was dead. Oh, he was on the ground. That's fucked. And I guess that makes sense. They just took him. He's wearing the uniform. Holy shit. Hell? Chapter 2. Vecna's, Vecna's Curse. <laughs> um, Another nightmare. Okay, I was like, excuse me? <laughs> Headache, ibuprofen. Tylenol. Yeah. Damn, who takes medicine like that? She's an animal. <laughs> Did he call the police? Eddie called the police? That's smart. Not even gonna lie. Like, if you want to... <laughs> if you want to be as innocent as possible, you have to call the police, or right? Or did his uncle call the police? Oh. And maybe he ran. That'd be bad. This is not going to be good. They're about to freak the hell out. Yep. Holy mother of God. Uh, Max? Can't be out here. Get back inside. Damn, bitch! Okay. You touch me like that. <laughs> I'm mad for her. You could have just said, "Hey." I know, right? Where the fuck is Eddie? She's gonna think it was Eddie. Yeah, look, yeah. I mean, he looks guilty as hell if he left. But I mean, I'd probably be in shock. Like, I just witnessed this girl fucking. Eyes rolling in the back of her head, and then she fucking got lifted onto the ceiling. And... I don't even know how to describe it. I've They're listening still. Like it. Oh, Mike Landon. <laughs> He's so excited. What is he wearing? Perfect, thank oh. you. Oh, hey, how you doing? That's awkward. Very. Uh, what's that? Um, it's nothing. It's just, it's just this painting I've been working on. Cool. That's a rad shirt, man. Wait, the painting was for, was for him. You remember Elle saying that if she doesn't know what he's painting, maybe it's for a girl? I heard a lot about your sister. Okay. Not creepy. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, here we go. Yeah, this is kind of awkward, man. It's so awkward. <laughs> the most fun place in Lenora. They have skating and games. Are your friends going to meet us there? Friends? What, what friends? You know, Stacy and Angela. Angela? You'll meet them. I promise. Just not today. I want today to be about me and you. Uh, he is there to help. This is great. The most beautiful creature I've ever seen in my life. Uh, VHS stores yeah, like that, like blockbusters. When I was in college, I would go to Hollywood Video all the time. Um, excuse me? That's disgusting. I hope he's going to see it. Smack it. Just hit it, man. You're going to smack it on the side. 
<laughs> I'm not even joking. That's how you had to do it back then. <laughs> I remember the antennas like facing them, and then so the the lines would go away. Yeah, it's on every channel. She's dead, man. Hey, maybe Chrissy didn't stand you up after all. Hey, don't say that. Relax, man. It's a joke. What? But he's legit, though. Um. Damn, everyone's watching. I'll tell you, you start to believe all those things they say that this town is cursed, that the devil is here in Hawkins. Barbara. We should be up for a field trip. Mmm, where we going? To investigate? Damn, she is a woman on a mission. I love that. While this shit was happening, I wouldn't let them go nowhere. Did you tell all this to the cops? No. No, but I, I can't be the only one who saw them together. I mean, they stood out. Eddie the Freak with Chrissy the Cheerleader? Exactly. Mm -hmm. now, is now, where is he at? I guarantee you Eddie is suspect number one right now. We can't presume anything, okay? But it doesn't look good for Eddie. Why haven't you told the cops this? You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> because she saw the way the body looked and she thinks it might be something supernatural. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Whenever that happens in Hawkins. Oh, she heard the scream. Oh, he hauled ass. That would have been me the moment I walked out of the room and I saw her and eyes doing her that. Her eyes were rolled in the back of her head. Nothing got weird or anything. I mean, there's only one person who knows what actually happened. Eddie. Have you talked to anyone else? No. I can't find Lucas or Nancy and Mike's in California. Shit. where are you going? Your friend. You heard the news. It's okay. Good point. We'll be extra careful next time. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Did he tell her he was coming? Alive. He looks forward to date. Please to make reservation. Call seven four one five two blah blah. I like it even less in person. <laughs> <laughs> He knows about the date. Signed Enzo. So? So, there's only two people who knew about our date at Enzo's, and that's me and Hop. So, whoever wrote this, Hop trusted enough to make him sign it Enzo. He's sending me a message. Hopper could be alive. I suppose there's only one way to find out. We're gonna call that number. <laughs> and we're going to find out who the hell sent you that letter. But we're doing it my way. What is okay. his way? Is he gonna show us what happened? Mm. Take with us a browser. Ouch. <laughs> I knew that was coming. The elephant. Bitch, the what? <laughs> oh. Suffocation. Damn. It's like a dry form of waterboarding. Damn. That would fucking suck. Suck like might be an understatement. Why'd you forget about the sauce? I mean, since you come here all the time. I, I don't know, I just forgot. Friends don't lie. Right. Why do you keep lying? What? She still has a scar on her leg. I'm not lying. You're not. You're friends with Angela and Stacy, and you come to parties here? I have been to a party. For mom's work, that's not what you imply. I don't think Mike's gonna like that you're lying to him. And he doesn't deserve that. When he finds out, he's gonna be mad. 
Okay, so I asked for vomit green and I got vomit green. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You're good. You got this. Look at Will. Uh oh. Her name's Angela. That's Angela. I said April. Yeah. I don't know. But it seems like the snitch has a boyfriend. She didn't snitch, bitch. Man, I do not like her. Why are you asking about Chris? When's the last time you talked to her? After the game? This, this doesn't have to do with that dead student, does it? You ever seen her talking to him? That freak? No. No way. They definitely think it's Eddie, but that makes sense because he ran away. What does Eddie have to do with all this? Did that freak hurt her? He hurt Chrissy. Uh -uh. Did he hurt Chrissy? Well, he looks a little crazy now, too. A little. Just a wee little bit. Jason! Jason! Where the fuck is he going? I don't know. Shortcut? Or to freak out in the woods? <laughs> yep. Definitely to freak out in the woods. <laughs> Why do they always use their work, their their jobs? First, it was the ice cream place in the mall. Fill them in while I do this. Fill us in on what? Next mystery. But I know you. I don't think so. Yeah. Actually, I do know you. You're Fred Benson. You killed that kid last year. What? What? That ugly scar on your face is from that crash. <laughs> It was an accident. An accident? Excuse me? What the f- Is that why you ran all the way home instead of calling us? You're a murderer is what you are. And what you know if it's done. Murderer. The scar is a murderer. 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 Definitely going for a more creepy vibe. Okay, well, so he's guilty yeah. of his guilt. Sorry. Hit and run. He's guilty of his guilt. <laughs> he's guilty of something. So I'm saying it's guilt, like the the trigger for this creature, I guess. Will. Say something, Go Will. Go save her, Will. Uh, why are they filming it? All right, everyone. This next song is dedicated to Jane, the local snitch. Uh, do something, Mike. Someone do something. Thank you, Mike. I saw the anger building up. This is making me so angry. Wipe out! This no. mother fucker. They all need their asses beat. This is sad. <sighs> I hope she gets her powers back. <laughs> One moment, please. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's really what he had in his suitcase? This is Enzo. Hello, Enzo. This is Joyce. But for reservation, you need to make deposit. Uh, what, what kind of deposit? 
$40,000. What? You have it in our trust. Put it up, yes. Uh, yes, yes, $40,000. First, we're, we're, we're going to have to speak to Hopper. We need to know that he's alive. Everything not possible. Why not? Why not? Your friend is uh, stuck. Um, what? How do I trust you? I don't know who you are. Well, the they're gonna be able to figure out that he was at a payphone. God damn. damn. Apparently, Eddie gets his drugs from some guy named Reefer Rick, and sometimes Eddie crashes there. That sounds promising. But um, where does this Reefer Rick guy live? What are you doing? Rick Lipton, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Chin Chin Chong's next movie, Chin Chin Chong's next dream. Bingo. Clifton? Spelled like a T. 2121 Holland Road. That's out by Lover's Lake. No, nowhere. It's a perfect place to hide. Smart. So smart. Dang, they just closed the store. That's something you would do. You don't know. Um, Damn! Hi, I'm Nancy Wheeler from the Hawkins Tiger. I've talked to enough reporters. <laughs> well, I feel like this kid's gonna be the next one to go. I just want to know what this is and how it's like existing here and like how it selects people. But let's get to this. He's about to freak out again? The clock. I'm curious what Chrissy was feeling guilty for. You know what I mean? Yeah, but do we know that that's what it is? You're just, that's your theory. Yeah, I guess it is a working theory. She was going to see the guidance counselor for something. True. Lick the creep. He lost his mind. Killed his whole family. Kids and wife took their eyes. What the fuck? And that poor girl I found this morning. Same exact thing. He asked me pictures like that. Or like Freddy Cougar. Um, I'll be right back. She gonna go save him? Snap him out of this? I mean, Eddie wasn't able to snap Chrissy out of it. So can they be snapped out of it? Don't think a good slap in the face, maybe. Nancy. So, so the cops aren't gonna be like... What are you screaming for, yeah. miss? Oh, Fred's about to die. That'd be so creepy. Um, What's behind me. him? Mm. That's so fucking creepy. Murderer. Murderer. This is definitely the thing that nightmares are made of. It'll be the worst type of nightmares. She's mad at Enzo. Calls him a Musa. Musa. Slang. For what? Literally, Musa translates to trash or garbage. It's like pig here. Often directed at cops. Cops? Hmm? Or guards. At a prison. There is. Mm -hmm. Welcome to get your home. And we are getting Hopper back. Forty thousand okay. dollars. <laughs> Murray's like, okay. You basically sabotaged the whole Well, day. she was lying to you, Mike. Straight to your face ever since you got here. And, and I've been a total third wheel all day. It's been miserable. I'm so sorry if I wasn't wasn't smiling. Yeah, whatever, man. It's not very nice. Gonna need these two to fix their issues. Yes. I feel so bad for her. Like extremely. And I feel bad saying that I want her to completely destroy Angela, yes, and the other children. She can go ahead and do a repeat of what she did in that flashback of the first episode. So 
She's just gonna go out there and physically. Angela. Uh oh. Punch. Just upset. punch it. You ruined my day. <laughs> I want you to say sorry to me, and I want you to tell my boyfriend that it was just a joke, and that we are really friends. Or what? You gonna hurt us with your mean stare again? <laughs> punch her, L. Just punch her. You'll just have to cry to your daddy instead. Ooh. Mm. Definitely hit her. Punch her. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. <gasps> Mike is gonna stop her. Angela! <laughs> oh. Damn. Shit, fuck out of her. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, she deserved it, but she hit her so hard. What did you do? What did you do? Flashback. What have you done? Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect her to hit her. <laughs> I mean, I, I wanted it, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if I wanted that. I expected a punch. Punch, I would have been, you know, okay. But a roller skate to the face might have been a little overboard, L. Turn on the light. Hello? Damn. What's with people saying hello? Don't want to hit this light switch? It's an outdoor shed. Does that have a light switch? They, they just passed this right there on the door frame. They all walked past it. It's legit right there. Maybe it doesn't work. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get him with his oar. I don't think it would be funny, Henderson, but considering the fact that everyone in this room has nearly died about a hundred times personally, I don't find it funny in the Oh my god. We're looking for you. That scared me so bad. <laughs> Eddie, these are my friends. You know Robin from Bay. <laughs> tell us what happened. Or tell them what, what happened. What do you mean, tell us what happened? Tell we them. saw what happened. Well, I mean, that's what they're going to say. Tell us what happened. I want to know what happened. See? You won't believe me. Try us. She's still out there fucking looking for him. Fred is dead. Well, we didn't see Fred die, so he might be all and right. And the cops didn't help her look for this person that was with her? She didn't ask the cops to help her look. But, I mean, they were standing right there. Yeah, I mean, but they also let her walk right past them and interview them. You're right. <laughs> the uncle. That did happen. Hey, officer. officer. Oh, now? What are you now still doing here? Right what are you still <laughs> doing here? I can't find him. Like, did you hear me screaming Fred? He was there and then he was just gone. Did you maybe see him Kids to go home. Fred's still alive. He's just running. Can I? He's gonna get hit by a car too. Oh, uh, the accident he caused. Her to snap. Oh God! Don't show us that again. Holy crap! Like what the fuck? There was something <laughs> like inside her head pulling. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I, I... I ran. I ran away. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, no, these monsters. From this other 
the world. We thought they were gone. I would be so scared. Oh man, there was nothing you could see or uh, or touch. Something else entirely. What do you want? I want you to join me. I want you to join me. Yeah, but what house? Look at those bats. Oh shit, that scared me. What the fuck? <laughs> what is the What the hell? I want you to join me. It's a dark And they're real life wizard. Dungeons and Dragons game. Yeah, but that's how it was last time. With the... Demigorgon? Well, the Demigorgon and then the Mine... The Mine Flayer. Mm -hmm. Like... This thing cannot be seen in our world. No. It's but it's their, killing it's you. Mind. When it casts a spell on you. But it's targeting people that feel, I guess, a, a tremendous amount of guilt that's a theory yeah i mean that's your, the the guy that was with nancy i can totally see but the, the we don't girl, know we about don't know what was going on with her so we don't know what she would be guilty about yeah but we know she was going to go see the counts she was sure, seeing the counselor she about something and she yeah came out and then she was throwing up so i mean Definitely she was dealing with could something. Be something, but we just don't know what it in is. In hers, we saw her mom and her dad both dead in the house, mm -hmm. and all the food was rotten. So, like with him, we saw the guy flipped over in the car because that was what he he did. Yeah. So, did she have something to do with her parents' death? I don't Accidentally, know. maybe, maybe. But it's it's just crazy. I. There's still different storylines going on, and it it was nice to states. see Mike with Will and Elle, but Will and Mike aren't really talking to each other. They're still so not it's getting along awkward. since their argument yeah. that they had. So it's just awkward. And then Elle has been lying to Mike about what their life is like there, or what her life is like there, and... Mike obviously knows now because Will's like she's been lying to and me. he witnessed it firsthand. Um, so Angela just, got rocked. I just feel so bad for her, and I definitely felt like the bullies, especially Angela, needed payback. But that is not the payback I was expecting. Yeah, I thought she like, was just gonna punch I her. Just, like a slap punch. Like that's what I was expecting. Not a fucking roller, roller skate. skate to the and face. And she didn't do a some sissy ass roller skate no, hit. No, she she whopped yes, that bitch <laughs> into her face. Um, she split her face but then, open. But then Will and a. Uh, Mike. Will and Mike, rightfully so, were shocked and were yeah, like, like what, what did you do? What are you doing? I knew that yeah. I was going to hit her back with the flashback. So, that was interesting because as much as I felt like the bullies needed payback, 
that is not the extreme <laughs> that I expected the payback to be. But it is weird that they're in California and that... Oh, the other ones are in Hawking. Yeah. yeah. But it is very interesting and they're doing enough to make it feel different it but just gives it a different dynamic at, but at the same time it still feels like stranger things and i really love that within the first two episodes that we've gotten a little bit of progress as to figuring out exactly what this creature is and like what all it mm -hmm. can do there's still some mystery so there's still some things for it to build off of but i do like that i feel like next episode we're going to be trying to figure out more about it now that Dustin and Steve and Robin and Max know about it like it's only gonna bring everything in and then we still have freaking Lucas there with all of his basketball friends that are gonna be looking for Eddie. like yeah all of them yeah, so it's so gonna bring everyone together again and then I think we have it, I think eventually yeah it'll bring all of them together and Murray, then we have Joyce and, and Murray yeah going to go to get Hopper to, yeah who got his ass beaten tortured in Russia and then got I guess Imprisoned. taken or whatever to some other people and they just have him in solitary confinement pretty much. I really liked seeing immediately what happened after Joyce turned the keys and seeing that he didn't disappear or, or teleport that he just he fell. fell down there. And then they And then they came and got him. Took him. That episode gave me a lot of what I needed, so I really liked that good. episode. It's it's good first two episodes back. I am interested to see the continued like differences and the new dynamic that we have, and this is definitely scary versus <laughs> I've jumped creepy. I jumped twice in that episode. And the things I jumped at, I shouldn't have jumped at. <laughs> no, you Him busting have. up from the tarps is scared me. And, and I think, then the I think I went like end. this. <laughs> And then the bat at the end. That's because I'm like looking, trying to figure out what this building was. And then I notice all the bats. And then just one swoops in front of the screen. It scared me. <laughs> so, good two episodes back. I've only got five I, left. Like, obviously it's only two episodes in. I just don't know where it's going. Yeah. But we shall see. Well, everyone, let us know how you all felt about this episode down in the comment section Fred? below. Another gonna find what? Fred. Oh, I don't know. I mean, his ass is in the middle of the road. Someone's <laughs> gonna find Fred. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Someone, when they're on their way to work in the morning. But <laughs> thank you all for watching. And if you like our reactions and wanna see more, maybe click the subscribe button and stick around. We will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye. Are you gonna find Fred? <laughs>